Dr. David Cooper, who is the chair of the Endocrine Board Review, joins me now. Thank you so much for being You're here. You're welcome. This is so great for people who are taking their boards, who are going through the recertification. You do really a mock exam, but offering, I think, some invaluable information and experience. Yeah, well, this is something that the Endocrine Society uniquely has for people who are being certified for the first time or recertified. There are many other board review courses that are given at many institutions across the country, but this one is billed as the only one that is truly a mock examination. So we have experts in various fields in endocrinology who present a series of questions to the audience, many uh, in identical fashion to the kinds of questions they would get on the actual board exam. Uh, and then the audience has a response system so they can punch in their answer, and then the uh, speaker then shows which answer is correct, which ones are not correct, why the one that's correct is correct, why the ones that are not correct are not correct, and then you move on to the next question. And So in the space of an hour, uh, you get approximately 30 questions that are very similar to the kinds of questions you would get on the board exam, and in the space of two days, you cover the entire gamut of endocrinology. And the way the course is uh, divided up is mirroring the blueprint that the American Board of Internal Medicine Endocrinology Board publishes for how much of each subspecialty in endocrinology is featured on the board, the actual board exam. So there's, for example, more diabetes, there's less in the way of male reproductive endocrinology because that's how the board exam is structured. And so when people are going through it, if they say, wow, it's awfully heavy on diabetes, you know you have the inside information on the makeup of those questions right. on the exam to give them, I think, a real sense of how they would do. Right. Well, the, the exam or the course is really for people to brush up on uh, things that they might not feel so comfortable with. It will help them see that there are certain things that they know maybe better than they thought they did. And it also provides new information for people as well. So it's not necessarily even for people who are studying for the boards, because there's new information uh, as well. So the questions that are presented, many of them are new questions that have never been presented before. So it's not just rehashing questions that were used last year and the year before and the year before. Uh, each discussant or each presenter, um, at least 30% of the questions are new compared to the ones that were presented last year. So there's a lot of new information as well. And you're right, I think, with that interaction and getting the feedback and the answer mm -hmm. right away, right. it helps people to learn whether they're taking mm -hmm. the boards or not. Right. I think it's yeah. really good for them. But it's not here. Correct. This is um, part of the endocrine CEU, the clinical endocrine update that's held in the fall every year. Um, so this is in September of 2015. Um, I believe this is the 8th and 9th of September, and then the CEU, the Clinical Endocrine Update, is the 10th, 11th, and 12th, and this will be held in Miami at the Intercontinental Hotel in Miami. So it's something that people need to plan for Yeah, they have to register for. And some people only go to the board review and then go home because they're taking the boards. Some people go to the CEU, and some people do both. But if you had to recommend, if someone were taking their boards or if someone was getting their recertification, you think that this is absolutely I, worth it? I think this is the best way to prepare for the boards outside of being in a study group on your own with your colleagues. Yeah, this is the best way. Well, thank you. Thank you so okay. much for putting My it pleasure. all together. It sounds like a great program. Thanks, Dr. David Dina. Cooper, we appreciate you being here. My pleasure. Thank you.